this video, I'm going to explain how logos work in Easy Mobile Site Generator. Um, I'm going to use the Enrico's Pizza demonstration site uh, for this to show you what we've got. So if I just come down here on the main editing screen, you'll see we have this section here which says Logo Settings. So we check here to say yes, we want to display a logo. Now, where does the logo appear? If I just come down here to the preview, I can show you where that comes. That's this section here. This section up here. There's the logo. It's appeared there just below the top bar and above the main content. So let's go back up to the logo section. I said I want to display a logo. Um, I can upload an image. All I do is click Upload Image and use the inbuilt WordPress uploader. Click Select Files and let me upload an image from my computer. Um, or I can select one from the media library. So I've got various images that I've uploaded here for my demonstration. Um, this one here was the one that I'm using. And all you would do, you would come down and click the Insert to Post. Once you've uploaded the image, and it puts it back into the little box here on our logo settings. If we want to, we can override what's set in the theme settings for the color for the logo area by checking this box which says use color below and setting a color in here. I'll show you an example of that in just a moment. So really all we're doing, we click to display a logo. We enter the logo image. If you want to use a logo that's not actually on this website, then if you just put the full URL in here, it will actually use that uh, URL and get the logo from there. So you can use a logo on one of your other sites or something like that if you need to. As I said, you can change the, the background color for the logo area directly here. If you don't change the background color there, then what's going to happen is whatever theme you're using, in this particular case we are using the uh, red on cream theme. So let's go to the red on cream theme. Red on cream is... Uh, red on cream, here we go. And you see there's the background colour that's set for the logo area, this colour here. So if I go back to site so we can look at the preview again Enrico Pizza you'll see that the logo area is in fact this grey colour. So that's how you get your logo on there. Now if you notice here um, if I go maybe to the opening hours page you'll see that the logo continues through to all the other pages. Um, now let me just go back and explain something about that to you. That was here, that's these settings here which are on the main site because this is the first page of the site so these are the settings on the site. So let me go to a different page where I know I'm using a different logo. Um, on the delivery page what I've done here Although I'm using the site settings to make sure I'm using the same theme, so although it says here easy theme black on grey, I'm not using that theme on this page. I would if I changed that to say page, but I'm not. I'm, I'm taking the site, so I'm using whatever theme is on the site. Um, now down here, what I've done is I want to display a logo, and I put a different URL in here. I, did, I uploaded this the same way you saw the other one. So you see I've got a different uh, file name here and you can see it displayed here what I'm actually using and we can see what happens down there if we look down here at the preview of this particular page you see it's kept the same background color from the site but it's put the new logo over the top of the uh, logo area now if I wanted to I could actually change the background color so this would change it to a white color so if I just use that let's just do an update on this page So now if we look at the preview, we see that the colour has changed to the white from the grey. So 
Let me just go back and change that back if we uncheck that and do an update. And now we look at the preview. We see we're back to using the theme background. So we can change that to any color we want. I changed it to white there, but if you use the color picker, you could change it to something like maybe a blue like that. And remember, this is only applying to this one particular page. So you've got complete flexibility over how you use the, the logo area on the different pages and so on. So now you see we've got the blue background color on this particular section here. Now, to, to achieve this sort of effect, it's quite important that really you try and use PNG files for logos wherever possible um, with transparent backgrounds and that way you can change the colors to be whatever you like and you don't have to worry about it. If you use JPEGs with the, for your logos then you tend to find that those JPEGs have a background color and you have to try and match the logo area to that background color. If you're using white all the time for the backgrounds of your, your logos, it's not quite so important because you can easily uh, set the, the background color to, to white and any white logos then will look good in this area here. But it, it's much easier if you're using transparent PNGs to get this sort of effect. So as you see, you've got a lot of flexibility in how you use the logo area just by changing these settings here.